Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom at Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demo, I'll show you how you can create a custom approval flow in the Power Automate mobile app for Android. The flow sends an email to an approver when a new file is created in a SharePoint library. And when the approver has made a decision, the library is updated with a result. Here, I have a procedures document library with a choice column called Procedure Approved. The options are Approved, Pending and Rejected, and the default option is Pending. No built-in approval flow is used in this library. When you use a custom column for approval status like I do here, you can see in the version history when the file was approved and by whom. In some business scenarios, this is vital and required information. For example, which doctor approved the drug for second stage testing? A drawback with this solution is that everyone who has access to the library can see the document before it has been approved. But you can exclude the non-approved documents from the default view to make it a bit more difficult to find them. Now I'll go over to the Power Automate mobile app, but you can of course create this flow from the site also. I'll start from an automated blank flow and use the SharePoint trigger when an item is created. This trigger is primarily intended for list apps, so I'll have to select the procedures library as a custom value. Next step is to add the action approvals, start and wait for an approval. I'll use this action to make sure that the item has been approved or rejected before the next flow step is executed so that the approval output can be used to update the status column in the library. I'll select the approval type, the first to respond, and add the dynamic content name at title. At assign two, I'll add myself as the approver so that I can test the flow quickly. As you see, I get an error message here. It is a bug and the message disappeared when I removed the semicolon that was added automatically. At item link, I'll add the dynamic content link to item. Now I'll add a condition for the update of the status column in the library. If the dynamic content for responses approver response is equal to approve, as you see, Power Automate contains the condition in an apply to each action. Under if yes, I'll add the action SharePoint update file properties. Here I have to select the site URL and then I can select the library and the dynamic property ID. The procedure approved value should of course be approved. If the condition is false, I'll update the library column with the rejected option. Ideally, the creator of the new document should have an email with the result. I'll not do that now. Here, I'll just tap Create to save the flow. The mobile app has no test button, so I'll test the flow by uploading a file to the SharePoint library. Now I should have an email in my inbox, and here it is. I'll reject this file. Once our flow has run, we can see it under Run History in the mobile here. And if there's a problem, I can submit the run again, here under the ellipsis. In this case, everything seems to be okay, but let's go back to SharePoint and look at the status column. Yes, the status column has been updated, so the flow works as it should. Thank you for watching this demo.